Hello, you may be wondering why are we doing this video today, Megan? Or Megping? But, uh, I have to rant. I don't like the rant, but I gotta legally rant today because of this! But before I rant about that, let's rant about this. So a few weeks ago, I watched a game. A basketball game. People played. For context, I am a casual. I don't watch every game. I can't do that. I go to school. Also, I'm not being paid, so, like, I don't really have the motivation to watch every game. Like, if I'm being paid, like, if I have a channel or something, I would not gladly watch every game. Like, if I'm making bread, I'm going to make that bread. I respect that wholesale culture, but I can't really do that. So this game I thought was the worst game in the playoffs at the time, but now I've been proven wrong. But I thought this at the time because, like, the first quarter was okay, but then everything else just went downhill. You may be saying, Megpeng, you can't really say that. Giannis was injured, and Dame had just came back off an injury. They were kind of destined to lose. And yeah, you're right. The Bucks had no chance. They, Everyone was injured. What could they have done? But but I was kind of disappointed because it felt like they had no life at all. Like They didn't even try. But yeah, I'm, I would like to formally apologize to the Bucks because they have game. They have game, okay? Despite all the odds, they had game. So this game made me furious because this game look at it like i mean just look at it they're two top teams in the west the most competitive conference like what's going on and also there are no injuries i believe like if there are injuries it's not the main guys everyone who was a key player played basketball but this happened and well it's pretty sad because if you look at the stats they got eaten like Throughout all the quarters, they had no life. Like, it felt like they were just dead. Like, these guys had the sliders up. Like, I knew, I know this is a, they were playing on Timberwolves court. So, like, there's a, there's a discrepancy. They're playing in Minnesota, then on Denver, and like, you know, but they're, they're a defending team. Like, this is why this is worse than, than this, because the Nuggets are a defending team. They just won the championship. They have the MVP. Like, this is just really sad. And, like, it's very, uh, you know, it's just, it was sad. Like, I couldn't, me and my dad couldn't watch the third quarter. We both noped out. And I just came back, saw this score, and I knew I had to do something. Like, dude, it is so sad. And this is, like, my fourth or fifth time recording this because my laptop is trashy. So, yeah. So, please, if you want to fix my laptop. I'm not going to show anything from the game. Because I don't want Adam Silver to nuke my channel. Because I got a lot of videos on here. But yeah. Truth is. I know you guys are probably watching this. Like that LeBron video did well. And yeah. So let's just continue on. But this game made me furious. So yeah. This was very sad to watch. But let's talk about the Nuggets. Because this kind of makes it. So I'm going to say something. That's kind of a bit of a hot take. But. I'm going to watch Game 7. Game 7 could prove me wrong, but the Nuggets are kind of a weak team, like, as a championship defender. Like, I remember Shannon Sharp said something like the OKC Thunder were, like, a weak first seed, which, that's kind of wrong. But I feel like the real hate should go to the Nuggets, because if you look at their track record, they were... They're kind of a poor team. Like the Lakers were Lakers were mainly leading, but they would come back at the last second. And you know what they remind me of? You know those kids at school? They sleep in class, they eat food, they drool, they don't do crap, and yet they get hundreds on their tests, but they don't do the assignments at all. That's kind of what the Nuggets low key remind remind me of. Like they play like trash in the last few minutes, they play good. But clearly they can't really do that because the Minnesota told Timberwolves are a kid who actually studies. And they actually have passion to learn. Like, I'm a nerd, so this is the best way I can explain it. So I'm sorry, but that's how it feels like. Like, I wonder how the Nuggets legacy-wise are going to be looked back upon all of this if they don't if they don't win. Then again, I could be wrong because because you know there have been teams I've put that you know have went all the way despite losses. But like, I'm thinking about the 2008 Celtics, mainly because my dad's Celtics fan, like, how they had, like, two game sevens in a row. But, yeah. When also, speaking of, I know, I have no, I have no horses in this race. I am not a Celtics fan. I'm not, like, a Nuggets fan or a Wolves fan. 
So, like, I'm just giving the basic thoughts out here, but, yeah. Anyways, who should I talk about? Oh, yeah, yeah. Edwards and Cat And Rudy, Rudy. Let's, let's talk about the big three. Um, let's start with Rudy, with Anthony Ed, well, no, Rudy first. So, like, throughout this thing, shout out to Rudy. Rudy's kind of redeemed himself after that, uh, touching microphone situation. Like, I was, like, usually after that, you kind of get put into obscurity. Like, the NBA doesn't really like touching you after that, like, messing with you. Like, they, they didn't even stop, like, but he's really redeemed himself after the trade. He got the better end of Stick and Donovan Mitchell, bless his soul. But anyways, let's talk about Edwards. Shout out to Bro. He had 14 early on in the first quarter as a show. Well, no, not that's not it. But like, he had 14 like first quarter, first half. But yeah. Anyways, look at this. This is sad. Anyways, yeah. And he's leading the squad. Like, I don't want to compare him to Michael because there's like negative connotations for that. If you've seen the Jimmy X High Roller video, um, basically like there's a lot of bad connotations for comparing people to MJ because not a lot of them can live up to the height. Now, very few can. And he said he doesn't want to do that, so I respect his wishes. So, yeah, hopefully, he's 22, hopefully no injuries, hopefully he can win it all. But also, shout out to my boy, Cat. He, he's, he's got the short end of the stick on the team, like, he's had to suffer for a long time. And, yeah, I'm happy he didn't get to leave. He, he can basically play out the rest of his years in Minnesota, it seems, with, like, with, um, Edwards. And also, he's less chance for him to get injured because, you know, he's sharing a court with another guy. So yeah, shout out to my guys. I'm gonna pop. I'm definitely watching Game Seven. But anyways, what are your thoughts about this game? I know people are gonna have so much stuff to say, but uh, all I can say is Nuggets, please do better. That was a snooze fest, okay? That was trash. Joker, get your get your minions together, bro. Anyway, see.